Spur catch! Hey, come on guys! Can you make this a little easier? Flame, in order to play Monkey in the Middle, you have to be, you know, in the middle. Not off to the side. I can't the poor little run reach. I'm gonna hate you, aren't I? Flame caught it fair and square. Silly fox, you don't know what a square is. Once <laughs> <laughs> fox siblings start to fight with each other, that means they are aggressive enough to survive on their own. So it's time to kick them out of the den, Quicksilver. Wait, they're only like a month or two months old. Fox kids don't start fighting amongst themselves until they're half a year old. I know, personification, yeah. Now, oh, how many times have your father and I told you no fighting? One of you could get seriously hurt. Seriously hurt? I don't think two-month-old fox kids could really hurt each other. I could be wrong. Thanks a lot, Flame. You started it. And you're a pathetic excuse for a fox. Don't listen to him, Flame. Bone's just a big bully. I know. Thanks for standing up for me, Spider. Hey, that's what brothers are for. How come Flame and Spider are little angels while Bone is the spawn of Satan? The three are raised by the same parents at the same time, so what gives? It's Peter Valentine and Ender all over again. Do shows have prologues? It's been a while since I've seen Maxie and his mate. I wonder how they're doing. Maybe Vicky had kids. I should bring Quicksilver next time I go see them. She would love to see Vicky's kids. Great spirit! What happened here? It looks like a storm blew through. Are these claw marks from dogs? Why would dogs be in this part of the forest? I'm gonna go check on Maxie and Vicky and ask them what happened. I hope they're okay. Just because you think of something, that doesn't mean you have to say it out loud. You're gonna choke on all that exposition! Where's father? I'm starving. So am I! Do you two always have to complain? How dare you make that tiny jerk say something reasonable? Oh, Foxtrot, where are you? Foxtrot? Isn't that like naming someone human, Skip? They're both dead. Dogs attacked. It was terrible. There was nothing to do. No, not Maxie and Vicky. Why is mom crying? How did you not hear that? We need to leave and find a new den. It's too dangerous here. But what about the memories we've had here? If you stay, your kids will be eaten alive. You fail at being a protective mother. Kids, go to bed. Silly fox. You don't know what a bed is. But this wasn't like other dreams I've had before. It was so real. Dream felt so real, cliche. Your father gets these kind of dreams all the time. He does? Later we find out that Flame's dream was a prophetic one. So did Foxtrot have prophetic dreams too? Or was this nightmare a form of PTSD? This will never be mentioned again, will it? Poor little flamey wamey is scared of a little doggy. I will not be complete until I see him die. If there were dogs, I would fight them all off because I'm not a scrawny little runt who cries to his mommy. <sighs> Flame, you're such a crybaby. Oh no, mommy, I had a nightmare. Bone. You're... Just now saying something? <laughs> was Quicksilver like, yeah, my kids are the worst. Oh wait, he said, Mommy, I guess I have to intervene now. No! No! This can't be real! It's only a dream! It's only a dream! <laughs> Run! Father, no! I can't! I have to help you! You just said you knew it was only a dream. If I don't return my nightfall, Take the kids and run as far as you can. Nightfall? There'll be dog food by then. <gasps> Those dogs follow orders from cats? What was that? I told you not to say everything out loud. <laughs> yes! Thank you for killing the bane of my existence! Ugh! The unknown flame made me happy to see a fox kit die. Not cool. Impressive. Mm, spare him. Slate may find good use for a fox in the clan. Why would you think that? You know that Slate hates foxes and wants them all dead. Why do you think he'll like this one? Because it defended itself? I could take down a dog. 